Hello everyone, Only Draven here again, and today we're doing another tutorial in Minecraft Sky Factory 4. Today I'm going to be showing you how to build and use the airship, which is part of the Vicecraft mod, and one of the advancements needed in Sky Factory 4. If you find this video helpful and you like it, please be sure to click like, but most importantly, please remember to hit that subscribe button, that way you can see all my videos and tutorials as they come out. All right, so there are several different parts and components that are all involved with making an airship. So let's take a look at those. Okay, so you're going to need some logic chips. And logic chips are three gold nuggets, two cobblestone, and a redstone. Now for the airship itself, we're going to need an airship frame. That's going to be four of those logic chips we just made, four iron ingots, and one minecart. Next, we're going to need an airship core, which is four iron ingots, one iron bars, two diamond, a magma block, and a gold ingot. Next, we'll need an airship balloon, which is one string surrounded by eight leather. We're also going to need two airship engines, which is four iron ingots, two iron bars, two piston, and a redstone block. And we're going to combine those with four leads, two engines, the balloon, the frame, and the core, and that is going to give us our airship. Last component we're going to need is some fuel, which is Visaline pellets, which is redstone and coal combined. So let's show how that works. Once we put that together, we have ourselves an airship. We'll grab ourselves some pellets. To put your airship down, you're going to hit shift and right click, and that is going to pop out your airship. Looks like that right there. Now, to get in and use the airship, you're just going to right click, same as getting into a minecart, and left shift will dismount you. Now, once you're in your airship, you want to interact with the HUD. So, depending on your configuration, I believe the base one is an R, the R button, but some other mods can overload with that. So you may need to go into your options, into your controls, go down until you find Vice Mod, and make sure that the Interact button is one that you can use. Once you've got that set and you click on it, you're going to be inside of your controls. You can see here that there's, this is where your fuel goes. Take your stack of pellets and put it in there. Now our vehicle, our airship has fuel. And now fly it. There are a lot of other things such as upgrading your ship, customizing it, you can change its name, different modules that can be applied. We're gonna look at that in a little bit more advanced video later. But let's take a look at how it flies. So like many of the other things, holding space will cause your airship to rise. A and D are left and right. Then X is going to be down. We were to look at it this way and just fly our ship around. This is a level one ship, so it doesn't go super fast, but most of the components you're going to make with this are relatively easy and early game. And it is another way to fly relatively early once you get your game up and going. And then once you land, okay, if you want to Pick your ship up, you just right click it. Well, oh, wrong button. <laughs> Left clicking it will put it back into your inventory. And you can drop it down again by holding shift and right click. So that's a great way of having the airship, picking it up, carrying it with you when you want to go places, and then dropping it down when you need it. It takes only a single place in your inventory. Now, there are different levels of the airship. That was level one. So was up white, yellow, blue, purple, red, all the way up to the highest level. You can upgrade your ship, and we're going to cover that in the next Vicecraft video. But this will allow you to go ahead and get yourself an airship. It's going to let you get the airship advancement, because you only need to make a level one to get the advancement. And it'll give you another relatively early to mid-game flight option. Now, if you have any questions about this tutorial or any of my tutorials, please throw those down in the comments. I'll do my best to get back with you as quickly as I can. And if you have any recommendations or suggestions for other tutorials you'd like to see in Sky Factory 4, please throw those down there as well. I'm always happy to get some new ideas. That is going to do us for today. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.